Okay, we're gonna try and fix this crack in the windshield using this kit. Just to catch anything that drips down. Okay, now we're gonna take uh, there's a little push pin in here. A little push pin, and we're gonna clean out the crack. alcohol swab. I clean the glass beforehand also, but this is going to help the a sticky pad stick to the window better. Make sure you got everything off the windshield. Looks like the alcohol is dried. I'm going to take this little pad here, take the hole out where the, uh, I'm going to match that hole up to the crack in the little windshield where the little hole is. If you don't have nails like me, you can use a razor blade is what I gotta do. Not a litter bug, so. Put the hole in the middle. Like so. Push down the edges. Like so, and you peel up this. And I know you like peeling that. Gonna stick the plunger head on there. Line it up. Make sure the tube faces down where gravity is and that the hole is centered. There's lines on here so you know that it's level. that down and 
and this is gonna seal and keep the resin concentrated towards the hole. And you take this, be careful, do it away from your car. Take the top off. Watch your eyes. Now we're gonna fill this hole up all the way to the top with the resin. Can you see it full? Okay, I'm banging it a little bit, it dropped. You see the thing full? It, anyway, it's filled to the top. I'm going to put this resin off to the side, but out of the sun. Let me actually put on a piece of tape. Now we're going to take this syringe that comes with the kit and pull it all the way out. I'll push it all the way in. Then we're going to stick it into the plunger. This is where resin will come out. And we're going to hold it down like so and push down while we pull up. And this is creating a vacuum. Okay, you see these clips here? They lock it into place. And that's creating a vacuum chamber here. It's going to suck the air out, see the air bubbles. The little trick is to tap around the windshield. Not too hard. that air bubble getting bigger and sometimes if you look from inside let me see if I can see it Now from inside the car, you can see there's still a slight little bubble there where the chip is. That's in the middle of the circle. But I'm giving it some time. I'm gonna bang on the window a little bit more and hopefully that'll help it. See how it goes, hold on. They say to wait like 10 minutes for all the air to come out. Tapping does help it go a little faster, but you do want to get as much air out of the cracks as possible. It's also a good time to take a refresher. No advertising.
Okay, the next step they tell you to do is remove this and that'll release this vacuum and put air in the chamber and then we're gonna put it right back on. Okay, we just removed it. Now we put it right back on. Now we release this clip and we push all the way down. Now there's a secondary clip right there that will keep pressure applied to push in the resin. And I think they also say to wait about 10 minutes for this too. And you want to do this in the shade so it works out all the bubbles and pushes that in there real well. Now, if you can, it's very hard to see from the inside because this crack is so low to the dash. But if, if you can't get all the air out, what, what you can do is apply a little bit more pressure while pushing down to try and force that in there without blowing out the gasket on the plunger. So you're not like super forcing it, but applying some pressure. And then you can let it sit back pressurized. check from the inside it looks it's hard to tell with this angle can't see Looks like there's a little speck there, or is that a shadow? I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been 10, 15 minutes since I had it pressurized. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it one last quick pressure while I'm pushing down on the syringe. I'm also pushing down on the plunger so it doesn't pop off and hopefully that's applying the resin into all the nooks and crannies. Like that. <laughs> okay. Well, that is done. Now what we got to do is Peel this off. Or pop it off, whichever is easier. And slice this off. taking some of the residue off from the uh, sticky glue, not from the resin. I don't know if you can still see, I can still see a little divot there. So now what you do is you take some of your resin there and you try to pop it onto that divot like so. And you take that little clear film out with it. Oh. 
problem with working outside in the wind. Okay, you take this film that they give you. Make sure you have some resin on the divot. And I am gonna work my way up. And work the air out. A lot of little trick is to put your finger on the corner here and use the razor blade as a squeegee to work the air out of the put some pressure down okay now we let that sit for several minutes I mean uh, they say if it's not in the Sun you're supposed to let it sit for like an hour but it's a sunny day so I'm gonna take the car and reverse it so that the Sun sits on it and helps it cure probably like 15 20 minutes we'll be back so the crack is now in the Sun you can still see a little speck of it there that line oh that line's from the plastic but it's right above that line right there didn't come out perfect it looks like there's some air in there still let it cure a little bit more the UV actually helps it If you have one of these UV lights, they help speed up the process, but the sun will do it just as well. If you're in a garage, then you can use a UV. But at least it won't spread now. It's not in a blind spot, and the windshield wiper actually covers it almost. not opening like it didn't look like there's any damage over here it's been like 15 minutes in the sun I guess so I'm gonna start removing this you put your finger over where the uh, chip was you still see a little bit of it I guess I should have left it on longer with the air but you're gonna take your razor and work your way around this plastic piece not over the chip. It's fairly easy, no pressure involved. So once you get a diameter around the chip, like so, you grab the one corner and you twist it. And you grab both corners and twist it off so you're not pulling the resin off, see how it's still on there? Now, you take the razor and you can scrape it. Feel that. Yeah, you can still see a little bit of it, but it's not going to spread now in this winter coming up, at least. But it was a cheap $20 fix. Now that divot's gone. It looks like some air stuck in there. Thing. All right. 
Good job. Mm-hmm.